Hi and welcome to the next video. Today's topic is troubleshooting Intune policies and apps. There's a corresponding blog post on it, so feel free to have this at your side. Intune, we may encounter issues during the sync between a device and the Intune cloud service, which is hosted by Microsoft. So for example, we have things going wrong between or for the device configuration, compliance policies, maybe endpoint security policies, uh, apps, scripts, practice remediation, and so on. And for this, we need a troubleshooting process. Please consider that this block doesn't cover the issues or troubleshooting parts of autopilot. So if you are interested in that, feel free to read my other post on it. Maybe a video comes for that too. Okay, so also here, prerequisites, please have an Intune admin at your side or the permissions um, assigned to you. So for example, an Intune administrator or another role-based access control, Intune help desk and so on. Someone who has read access to the Intune portal is definitely desired. And optionally also access to the device if you need to investigate in the logs and do some analyzation in, on the client, on the machine, maybe event viewer, this is definitely needed. You have also the option to upload your logs to the Intune portal or request the logs from the Intune portal from the device um, to later have it in the portal and download it. But uh, if you want a faster process uh, or a real life process, it's better to have the device at your site or some remote connection like with TeamViewer or remote help to it. Where do you start? From my experience, the best way to start ahead is from the Intune portal. You can directly see the assignment status and see error messages and so on. Second, I would go to the diagnostics and MDM diagnostics, some cool capabilities to collect logs on the end device. So here you can see multiple diagnostics data um, from the MDM channel, which uses Intune to sync policies and apps. Next, we have the Intune management extension client or the files, the log files from it. Also here, if you're interested in apps or in practice remediation or scripts, this will be the main source for you. The event viewer, of course, always a good way, something you should always consider in any problem statement. So here we're going to look at a specific path and find the events related to Intune. Last, we have the registry. Maybe we can also find something there. It also depends on your problem. Uh, you can see this in the troubleshooting flow, but the registry is always a nice spot to find, especially the applied configurations or the settings, because the registry is always, most of the time, your uh, end statement or there where the configuration should happen. Okay, this is the troubleshooting flow, which I prepared. And I would say we can start right ahead. Starting with the Intune portal, which is the easiest but also most convenient way to find something, we can go directly to it. It's available under intune.microsoft.com. And already at the home page, we can see some statuses from our Intune infrastructure. So for example, I have 11 policies from the device configurations which have an error or conflict state. That's not good. When I click on it, I will get redirected to the monitoring section of Intune, which I can really recommend from my experience. Here you can see issues and reporting data from the configurations or device configuration, uh, compliance settings, for example, which settings didn't apply correctly on your devices, enrollment from autopilot, also here quite good information, especially important the deployment time and also the software updates uh, is covered here. This is all about Windows Update for Business and Update Rings. Okay, so getting back to that first page where we had where we was in the beginning, profiles can end up in three statements. One of them is succeeded, all is good, the settings were, were applied according to Intune and nothing, no action to take. Then we have an error where just something went wrong. Maybe you misconfigured something or the setting isn't applicable to that device, but maybe there was also a statement for not applicable that could also be. 
And last, we have a conflict statement. So if you have two different policies which configure the same setting, they will end up in a conflict statement and you need to manually resolve that. This is just non-supported scenario where you have the same setting configured from two places. Then from the client side, we can also gather very valuable information. So now I'm going to select any Windows PC and here you get all the categories with, with much information. But to begin with, I want to show you this button. It's a collect diagnostics. You can hit that and confirm and then the device will check in and send its diagnostics data to Intune. These will land right in here. As you can see, the diagnostics upload is now pending. When, you, when, the, when the upload is finished, you can download that information file from, with the diagnostics and there you have multiple event logs, but also, for example, the Intune management extension logs um, and other information to find issues on that device. Generally, I would also recommend you to take a look at the device configuration page. You can see, ah, I got policies with error statement, not applicable statement, and so on. Same is for app configuration, discovered apps, and um, also for managed apps. Managed apps are the apps which come through Intune. So as you can see, I have two apps installed successfully and one is available for install, but isn't installed. This is just a self-service application from the company portal, which is optional. If you have one configuration or use case that doesn't work as expected, you may take a look at the configuration profile or the app which is responsible for it. So in this example, it's a firewall policy from the endpoint security. We can already see that we have five users or devices that succeeded with that policy and two which ended up on error. We can click here to view the report and then see which devices or users are affected. Also an important note that please always take a look at the last check-in or last report modification time. Because maybe you meanwhile did a change to the policy or the device has rebooted or something like that and then you have maybe an old state which isn't um, correct at this time. So make sure the last check-in time was recently. We can also see that report for the per setting status. So as we can see, um, we have <laughs> some co-balance here um, from all the settings which are configured within the policy that we have uh, two devices ended up on success and two on error. Maybe you have settings which are, um, for example, single settings which end up on error or conflict and then you can investigate better. I also want to mention the troubleshooting and support section from the Intune portal, which is located here. I already switched to the new troubleshooting experience, which I find quite cool. And I can select a user, for example, myself. And then we also get some good information at a single pane of glass. So for example, is that account even enabled or has he an Intune license? Then we can already see in the summary what is the status of his policies, his application, devices, and so on. We could even filter on the device which he has to see more uh, tight data. Also, very cool, we can see all his group memberships, uh, his policies in here, application, um, and so on with other great contents. All right, great, let's take a look at the device. Just a little refresher, you can sync the device on multiple ways. A synchronization will force the device to apply all the new settings and apps from Intune. So that's generally something I would always recommend to do. And the device automatically does this uh, within a cycle. Okay, first option is to go to the company portal, choose settings and here we have a wonderful sync button. So hit that for example, but second, we can also go to uh, the Windows Settings app, to Accounts, here select Access Work or School, here you should see your Azure AD joint device, uh, click on Info, and if you scroll down, 
you can also click here on sync. As you could already see here in the settings app of Windows, you can already see some information about the policies and applications um, which come through Intune. Let's take a look at some logs. You can open the event viewer on your system, go to application and services logs, uh, open Microsoft Windows and here search for device management enterprise diagnostics provider. Unfold it to and you will see three categories. From my experience, I would always go to admin first. You can see different events and in here um, it's really recommended that you go through the events if you have something or even better um, filter the current log for error critical or warning events so you find the important stuff faster. And then it's really um, dependent on the case you have. Um, always read through the general description and most of the time you should see um, what is really causing the issue. If you have something to autopilot or another issue, um, take a look at these two. Next, we can take the MDM diagnostics tool. This is pre-installed on every or built in, in on every Windows machine. And just open a CMD, type MDM diagnostics tool dot exe minus out and then any file path. So for example, C10. Hit enter, wait a few seconds, and then this directory should be filled with a few files. First of all, I would also always take a look at the MDM diag report .html. Open this one because here you can find the relevant information also very fast. So what is the device information and connection information uh, issues about the device management account or generally data and so on. So here you can find most of the settings which come through Intune. So for example, if we search anything about firewall um, these settings are included here. And also with the Oma Uri path and more. So search for the issue you encounter and you should find it here. If you can't find it here, also take a look at the XML file. Um, this is very unstructured. It's also maybe not the best idea to open it uh, with Edge. So maybe you have another tool for it. Um, and here is all the verbose data from the synchronization. And if you're looking for anything, just uh, make a control F in here and search for the term. You should find something. Okay, then also we have some event viewer um, reports, outputs, um, also from the one which we had before. Um, these are always a great thing to look at and to find information, of course. Also, when you hit uh, the diagnostics, the upload diagnostics button in Intune, you will have these files included. If you encounter issues with apps, practice recommendation or PowerShell scripts, we can go to the Intune management extension log, which is responsible for these components. Open the file explorer on your Windows machine and go to C, program data, Microsoft, and here search for Intune management extension. Go to logs and here you have your files. The really important one is the Intune Management Extension without a date. These are the archived files if the one was full, client health and agent executor. So these are .log files. Um, if you have it, I would recommend you to open these files with CMTrace. Okay, now the file is loaded. And here we also can see some verbose information about the synchronization process and the components I already mentioned. So for example, um, we have script data, we have the proactive remediation data um, from the detection and remediation. Um, we have the effective commands in, in clear text also from the skip scripts, be aware of that, and other uh, events. Also here take a look at the yellow and red marked events and to find the important information faster. But also here, it depends on your problem and there's no direct, um, there's no direct advice I could give. Just take a look at these places and uh, Google the error codes. 
Okay, that's it with the video. If you have more open questions or need more information, make sure to visit my post on it. Also, if you're interested in Intune or endpoint management or security, explore my blog oceanleaf.ch. Thank you very much and see you next time.